I'm going showing you how to observe the traffic flow in an enterprise network by simply just building it with a few PCs and then observing how a packet travels between them. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down here and grab some PCs. Got one right there, one right here, and one right here. It wants three of those and then it wants us to add a switch, which the switch we need is the 2950 2950-24, right there. All right, and we are going to connect them with a copper straight through cable. And PC0 is going to connect to Fast Ethernet 01. PC1 is going to go to 02. And PC2 is going to go to 03. So we hook all those up, and then what we need to do is go in there and configure the IP subnet and default gateway manually. So we're going to go ahead and uh, go into the PC here, and we're going to go to desktop, and go into IP configuration. And for this one, it wants the IP to be 192.168.1.10 subnet of defaults to that and then the, su the default gateway of 192.168.1.1 alright that's that's good and on to PC1 sorry about that go ahead and configure this one bear with me one second while I get this in 192 192.168.1.11 same subnet and same default gateway All right, and we got one more, PC2. Same, right, the same network statement. But they're on the same network. All right, we got all those configured. So now what it wants us to do is now that we have got those all configured with an IP address, it wants us to switch to simulation so we can observe a packet traveling between them. So we're going to go down here and go to simulation. And within the simulation, it wants us to make sure it's only ARP and ICMP are selected. So we're going to go right here, ICMP and ARP. Good to go. All right, now what it wants us to do is just select a simple PDU. And the source is going to be, it says to PC3, but we don't have a PC3. So we're going to do from PC0 to PC2. OK, we can see we're getting ready. So we're going to go ahead and uh, watch it here. It travels to the switch which receives it, and then sends it out to both 1 and 2 to see who needs it. 1 doesn't. PC2 is sending a response back to switch 0 saying, hey, this is where we're supposed to go. And then PC0 is receiving that the packet that was sent out has been successful. And we're going to show one more time here. And it goes back to PC2. and then it sends a response back to the switch and sends it back to PC0. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and stop that. And then we're going to go ahead and go back to real-time mode. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to PC0, go to the desktop tab, go into the command prompt, and we're going to check out the ARP tables. We're going to do ARP minus A. And you can see there that the only person in the ARP tables is PC2, because that's where we sent that package. So we're going to check out the ARP tables for the other two PCs, PC1 and PC2. And if I remember correctly, these ones should not have anything since they haven't sent or received any packets. No ARP entries for PC1. And PC2, even though it received a package, it did not send one, so I don't think it would populate an ARP table. 
Oh, never mind. There we go. And you see there that the address is for PC0, so obviously it's going to populate that since it did receive a package. Alright, and just for Don, 100% completion right there. Check results, just to verify. Good to go on all that. Alrighty, well I do thank you for watching my videos about observing traffic flow in an enterprise network, and I hope you have a great day.